Hey y'all, it is me, Lauren, here with Plan With Lore, and oh, we have such a fun video in store for today. I found my wedding dress and I am so excited to share the weekend, the process, and everything with y'all. One of my favorite YouTubers did a video like this, like way before I was ever engaged or even ever on YouTube. And I remember thinking like, oh, this would be such a fun video to make. And so when I was going through my own process, I knew that I wanted to take you guys along with me. So that's what today's video is gonna be about. If you're just stumbling up upon this video, I'm a 2022 bride here in New York City. So I wanted to get the full like New York bride feel and thing going along. And that is what led us to this weekend. So I'm gonna give you a little bit of information about this weekend. I had some of my favorite people in the world all come up to New York to help me celebrate. First and foremost, my mom came up. She actually came up a couple days earlier to New York. So she got to see our apartment. We also like, she wanted to do very quintessential winter in New York type things. So we saw Rockefeller and we went and saw a Broadway show. The next one to arrive was actually my mother-in-law. So this is Betsy. This is John Michael's mother. And once I got engaged, I had invited her to come to this weekend even before I knew what the weekend would look like or all of these different things. So I had three of my bridesmaids join us. The first one was Jackie. So I was so excited that she was able to come on in and help us out. And then I had both of my maid of honors, Jillian, um, my childhood best friend, and then Sarah, who actually also lives here in the city. So it was super easy for us to go everywhere that we needed to go. Five people in total, plus myself. Given that there was a lot of moving parts and most people who are here weren't from New York or did not know how to navigate the subway, or anything going along. What I did is I created a guide in Notion. So Notion is an online digital scheduling and planning tool. It created essentially an interactive PDF that I was able to text to everyone that had all of the information for the weekend in it. So if you guys wanna know more about Notion, let me know in the comments down below and I'd love to make a video on different ways to use it because now I will be using Notion for everything. I have been using this Erin Condren Green Wedding Shoes notebook to kind of keep track of on the go. I had my mother-in-law take notes on all of the dresses that I tried on. I ended up trying on somewhere around 30 dresses. So the first place that we went to was actually Kleinfeld's and oh my goodness, we just had the best time. I felt like I was an episode in Say Yes to the Dress. And if you didn't know, Kleinfeld's is the venue in which they shoot Say Yes to the Dress. I just have so many memories of waking up every Sunday and my mom and I would watch Say Yes to the Dress and then we would watch four weddings. To be able to do this and like have this experience in person was so great. My mother is very bold. It's a very bold woman. It's where I get my, my attitude, my sass from. But immediately when we walked into Kleinfeld, she walked up to the front desk and after we got checked in, she was like, so where's Randy? And they were like, well, he's not working today. And she was like, are you sure? And they were like, yes, we're sure. Some of our initial thoughts when we walked into Kleinfeld's, it is gorgeous, it is beautiful. All the dresses there are, I mean, they're just amazing. I also will say, I did not put on one wedding dress during this whole entire process that wasn't a beautiful dress. While it might not have been my dress, every single one was made beautifully. The way that it worked is that we had kind of our own little station. And so I worked with senior bride and bridal consultants and she had pulled some dresses for me. I'd given her a little bit of an inspiration board. We're getting married here in New York City. It is going to be a black tie wedding. It's a very intimate, elegant ceremony, or at least like, you know, that's what I hope it is. And so I wanted a dress that reflected that. Okay, so the first dress we tried on, so this actually was in Kleinfeld. So this dress was a Michelle Roth design. It was designer made out of Australia. And I love this dress. Again, remember when I said I hated strapless dresses? I don't. But this dress was absolutely beautiful. It was a lot of dress. And I think ultimately that's my decision on why I didn't choose this dress was because it was so much dress, but I loved the clean lines on this dress. I wasn't at first the biggest fan of the bow on the front, but it kind of grew on me the more and more. I love the way that like when I walked in this dress, I felt very bridal. So I love the big, the big bleats. I love the boning in the front. All the clean lines were so important to me. And I won't lie, I loved my waist in this dress. So this dress actually on the inside of it, I don't have any B-roll of this because I didn't take B-roll in the dressing room, had a corset in the back of it. So they laced you into a full corset and then they zipped it up. And it also had a detail that I loved, which was the buttons all the way down the back of the dress. I just think that is such a classic, a timeless look. And it's something that 
I really, really fell in love with while I went on my bridal shopping experience. But like I said, ultimately didn't end up choosing this dress. There were lots of layers of tulle underneath this. Um, and it just felt like such a heavy dress that this wasn't something that I would end up wearing all night. So we'll go back to Kleinfeld dresses, I promise. I'm kind of doing a little bit of skipping back and forth just to show you the different designers and um, some of the different dresses. But the two appointments that I took the most video at were Kleinfeld's and then the second place we went to is Lovely Bride. Now Kleinfeld's was very, like I personally felt like the very traditional bridal experience. Lovely Bride just had a little bit different of a spin on it. There's a little bit more of a boho vibe to the whole entire environment, to the process. This one, they actually had the changing room in the area in which you were sewing your dresses. So it was me, my guest, and the bridal stylist, and we kind of had our own little space. Whereas in Kleinfeld, you saw other people kind of coming out in this, their dresses at this place you didn't, but Lovely Bride was actually our second appointment. So we went straight from Kleinfeld's to Lovely Bride. Actually, the first dress that I tried on on Lovely Bride ended up being one of my favorite ones that I tried on the whole entire day that we went to all of our appointments. This dress's name was Mila and it was a, it was a Catherine Tash dress. They were actually having a trunk show that day that we were there, which meant that it was a little bit on sale. So it had a high neck and it had a slit as well. This was very different. So I kind of had always imagined myself in something ball gowny, but this was the first time that I, I had really kind of put on like a full silk, a little bit more form fitting of a dress and I loved it. So this one I felt like was a direct opposition to the first one that we had talked about because this one was so lightweight. It was a silk dress obviously and this one made it feel fun. This was a type of dress that I feel like was more for me a reception dress, which is ultimately why I decided that we didn't go with it. And I also think that I wanna do my hair more of like a half up, half down where I really felt that this dress like deserved more of a bun or something along those lines. But it was a beautiful dress. I loved it. I really loved the high neck, didn't think I would. And it also did have some of those buttons that I liked. So dress number three takes us back to Kleinfeld's. Y'all, I love this dress. Even looking at the photos of this one right now, I love this dress. So this is an Anne Barge dress. There's ruching down the sides. There were the buttons. It had box pleats and it had pockets. I don't know why, but I just feel like a dress with pockets to me is like elevated to the next level. I really love this dress because the length of it was something that I felt like I could dance all night in. Obviously you can get a dress hemmed to whatever length that you want it hemmed to, but this one, it just, fit really perfectly. It looks very puffy and it is, but it doesn't have a lot of layers of tulle underneath it. It actually only has like one or two layers and then it has horse hair, which is kind of what gives it more of the A-line kind of ball gown flair. I thought this one was just very classic. This one made me feel like a bride. <laughs> um, this one, I love this sweetheart neckline on it. This one was also very, very, very comfortable. Again, it's just a dress that I could see myself being comfortable in all night. I felt very bridal in it. Ultimately, I didn't choose this dress because I didn't love the little cap shoulders on it. That was more of a personal preference that it came down to, but even looking at this dress now, <laughs> like I said, it's gorgeous. So the next dress that I have, so dress number four is something that's completely out of left field and the stylists were doing their job. And I kept telling the stylists, I want clean lines. I don't want anything fancy. I don't want anything with a bunch of jewels on it. You know, I'm going for simple and elegant. But again, I had tried on probably at that point, like 20 dresses that kind of were the same silks and the same satins, A-lines and ball gowns and things like that. And so when we went to this bridal salon, my best friends who were there, both of my maid of honors were like, okay, but we wanna pull a couple. Like, let us just have fun and pull a couple of dresses. And at this point, I had already kind of thought that maybe I had found a dress at another place. So I was like, yeah, whatever, we'll just go for it, we'll have fun. It's funny because I ended up choosing one of the dresses that they pulled. <laughs> so this dress, like I said, is a little bit different than the other ones that I've seen. I mean, I still think it's very, in some ways, very traditional, but in other ways, it's just a lot of fun and still feminine and still really romantic, which were all things that I was going for. So this dress, I don't have the actual name on me, but it's gorgeous. So the way that this dress is lined up, it has beading all through the bodice, onto the dress so it's kind of have a little bit of 3d moment and then it has details of beading and lace 
all around the train, which is I think what made me love this dress so much. It has pockets. We already know that we love pockets, but it also had a very deep V, which I wasn't opposed to, and it had straps. I actually ended up being super shocked how much I really love this one. Again, I think that sometimes you have this idea in your mind about what you want your dress to look like and how they're gonna play out and how all of those things are gonna come to fruition. And then sometimes it's kind of the things that are out of left field, or maybe you didn't think that you would like, which are end up being the things that you love the most. I ultimately decided not to choose this dress because I have very sensitive skin. And because of my proto uticaria, I sometimes, like when things touch me, I get rashes and hives very easily. And because of the beading and the lace on this dress, actually when I took it off, my whole chest ended up being inflamed just because it was irritated. So dress number five, I actually thought that this was going to be my dress until I found my dress. So dress number five is called The Trumpet by Tony Ward Design. So this was really kind of my like, say yes to the dress, like I cried, my mom cried, my mother-in-law cried. There was just like a lot of emotions going along with this dress. It was actually the first dress that I tried on at all. I actually came out, my mother-in-law wrote down that I said like, I love it, it's, it's a perfect dress. It had a slit and what was so cool is that Tony Ward himself was actually in the store for a trunk show that day. So he got to tell me all about the dress, how he designed it, what it looked like, how he envisioned it. He had said that when he saw me, he pulled the dress directly for me and told my bridal stylist that I had to put it on. I will definitely say it was more of a couture dress. So it, again, not anything that I'd ever really imagined, but I loved it. It's actually just like such a cool experience to be able to talk to the designer of the dress. This dress, as in most dresses that are samples, don't necessarily fit you, whether they are too big or they're too small. So you don't really get to kind of see the dress. You have to imagine a little bit. Now they clip you in so it looks as best as they can get it to look. It was just really nice to be able to talk to the designer about the way he designed it, why he designed it. He did the whole veil moment. I fell in love with it, but Ultimately, I walked out of there without the dress. And the reason was, is I just felt a lot of pressure. We were in Kleinfelds. People were asking me if this is my dress. They put a veil on. I have these beautiful headpieces in. And this was my first bridal appointment. And I just was kind of overwhelmed with emotion and overwhelmed with feeling. And so I said, hey, like I, I need to think about it. I, I don't just wanna say yes immediately. And truthfully, for my next two appointments, I 100% thought that this was my dress. I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of a sneak peek of my dress. It is completely out of left field. It is unlike anything that I expected, but the second that I put it on, I didn't wanna take it off. And to this day, even as I'm looking at these dresses and they're gorgeous and they're beautiful, I just still love my dress. Lauren, okay. it's so that, amazing. <laughs> That's beautiful on you. So now we have my dress, which like, woohoo! We went out afterwards, got a drink to celebrate, and now we're shifting gears from bride to bridesmaid. So the next place that we actually went was Bella Bridesmaids. They have a bunch of different locations, but they had a location here in New York. Again, I had had one idea. I thought that I wanted, I tried on a whole bunch of dresses. The champagne dresses, even though kind of conceptually, it sounded really great and it was what we wanted all of the girls when they tried them on and they are all of different shapes, sizes, ethnicities, skin colors. When they tried on the champagne dresses, they all kind of hated them. Then we got to try on a whole bunch of different color dresses and we still kind of walked out of the Bella Bridesmaids appointment, not 100% sure what we wanted to do, but our last appointment ended up being a perfect appointment. So we actually went to Beholden, which is a brand under Anthropology. They had so many great dresses and so many different price ranges. The Beholden appointment was so fun because they actually took us and the girls back. They put us with the stylist and they each got their own dressing room. So they got to put on robes. They gave us champagne. You know, they got the same treatment that I did when I was a bride just kind of on the sides of bridesmaid and I got to switch spots with them. While we were there, we just tried on a whole bunch of dresses, satin dresses, chiffon dresses, crepe dresses, all of these different things and ultimately ended up deciding to go with black bridesmaids dresses. So definitely a change from champagne. So cool to just like 
be on the other side of it and see all of your best friends like feeling confident and feeling beautiful in their bodies and in the dresses that they're picking. So like I said, we end up going to a whole bunch of different places. If you have any more questions about Glenfelds or Lovely Bride, Wedding Atelier, or any bridesmaids dress shopping that we did, let me know in the comments down below. By the time John Michael and I end up getting married, we'll have been engaged for 18 months, which definitely seems like a long time, but it is going by so quickly. And I keep just talking about how I wanna savor up all the moments and I, yes, wedding planning is stressful and is hard, but these moments like this weekend and everything that happened, truthfully are the things that I wanna remember and the things that I wanna savor and look back at as such fond times. So, so thank you guys so much for joining me here. I hope that you enjoyed getting a sneak peek into what wedding dress shopping look like. As always, y'all, my name is Lauren here with Playing With Lauren, and I'll see y'all next time.